I am looking like a hot mess. I just got back from the gym, but I forgot to do an intro. I, I was gonna upload yesterday, but I didn't do an intro for this video. So today's episode or today's video is going to be a trip to the thrift. Um, again, I'm trying to get back into the swing of things. I'm trying to upload frequently. Um, ever since I moved to Miami, I've been slacking with the uploads, but I've been progressing with everything else. Uh, I've been going to the gym every single day. I've been eating healthy. Um, I've been, you know, just doing a bunch of other things that, you know, get my mental health better so that way I can come back on here and be, uh, you know, a thousand times better. So I hope you guys do enjoy today's trip to the thrift. If you do, smash the thumbs up button, subscribe if you're not subscribed. My website is still down, but follow me on Instagram at DITR954. I'll definitely make sure I get the products to you guys. Usually whenever I post on Instagram, it sells within a few hours. Um, I do sell locally also, so if you're local to South Florida, I do house calls, I do meetups, whatever you want. I just did a big bulk sale. You guys will probably see in the next episode or two, um, a thousand, uh, a thousand piece bundle, which is crazy. It was insane, like a $6,000 cash out. Uh, but it was just basic stuff, a bunch of t-shirts, stuff like that. So I will show you guys that later on. But I hope you guys enjoy. I want to give you guys, I do want to do a apartment tour. I know I'm kind of showing you guys. You guys know that I did paint my walls black when I first moved in. Um, but I haven't done a full apartment tour and I'm still waiting. I still want to get a coffee table. So once I get the coffee table and a few other things, uh, I want to hang up some paintings, I want to get a, a few old furniture in my bedroom gone, and I want to replace it with new furniture. So once I get all that set up, probably in the next couple weeks, i say, about two or three weeks, then I'll do a full apartment tour. I'll show you guys everything, because honestly, this is my favorite apartment that I've lived in. I love it, the location is amazing, and I just, I want to show you guys it. But I also, like I said, I've been going to the gym. I'm doing a six-month body transformation. I just want to show you guys. If you guys remember, I've been skinny, but now... I'm getting big. I'm still super small, but if you guys remember, I used to be like skin and bones, and then now you can actually see some definitions. So I'm excited to uh, do a little transformation video once I'm finished. I'm about two months into it. It's a full six month video. And then after that, I'll show you guys from skinny to fit. Right now, I'm currently 163. I started at 150, and my goal weight is 185, 200. So enough talking. Hope you guys enjoyed today's thrift video. Smash the thumbs up button. Let's get it, guys. Start off with a couple of shoe finds. I found me a pair of the 4D Adidas boots. I've never seen it in this color. Um, I actually thrifted a pair, like the normal color, the black with the, I guess, green bottoms, the 4D. Um, those were size 12. These are size 11 and a half, so I'm gonna keep both of them. Um, the 4Ds are my favorite to walk in and work out in, so I'm glad that I picked these up, and they're only gonna be $3 today, so huge steal on that found some purple vans my size i think i'm gonna get them because they're three dollars also and i'm gonna kind of use these as beater shoes uh, if i go to the beach if i go to just anywhere that like i just don't want to get any shoes ruined i can just slip these on we found these pharrell williams hue size 10 and a half we found these crocs my size and then we found these air force one mids with like the aztec black history uh the vibes on it as far as clothes, nothing too crazy. We just found two jerseys. Found this Reebok Women's New Jersey Devil Nicole. I don't know if Nicole is, must be a custom. And then we found a Jacobs. Kind of sad. We found this play clothes, uh, but it's too stained up, so we're going to leave that. I have no idea what this shirt is. I'm just going to gamble with it. It's a dollar, 2007 fern stock. Get back to the garden. Uh, it's a pretty cool graphic. has some little stains and whatnot, but again, for a dollar, I'd rather just gamble with it. Then we found five different of these. I've never heard, like, I've never tried this one, but 100% Pima Cotton is, like, my favorite shirts to use. So we have one, two, three, four, five, and some of them are brand new with the tags. Uh, like you can see this one still has the tag on it. So these are gonna be all for the personal collection Then we did find a Levi's Sherpa like rain jacket Really nice. We found these bright orange pretty little thing uh, like cargo pants We also found this Patriots NFL it's gonna be a dollar and then we found this Big Pony, Ralph Lauren with a little plaid patch. I also found these women's platform shoes. They're only $3.99. Uh, that brand, Supergra. They sell for about $50, $60. And then I also got a bunch of socks for the personal collection. Got this Nike Barcelona jersey. Messy. Found these Nike Challenge Court, a little like bathing suit. Nike Brazil jersey. I found these brand new size 32 pleated dickies. Probably gonna keep them for myself. 
Well, a lot of t-shirts start off with this Burberry Brit long sleeve size XL. No branding or anything on it, just a nice little Burberry Brit. Then we did find three old school Florida Marlins shirts. We'll start off with this Nike center swoosh. I've actually had this before. We ended up selling it for, I wanna say about 40 to $60. So nice little come up there, we're only paying a dollar. We found this majestic Marlins Ross. And then this one's super sick, 1997 with the glove. We found this new age Led Zeppelin, uh, 2007. Vintage Georgia Tech. We found two of these, Disney Worlds, four parks, one world. A little double-sided, both the same size. And then we found two reversible 4XL jersey uh, Nike. I felt like it was for a dollar each uh, summertime, I feel like these will be didn't do well. So, nice little day. So definitely a jacket day. We have this nice Lacoste jacket, a little alligator right there. Averix leather jacket, really nice. It says it's size medium, but honestly it looks like it's about a large. Just Dolphins little windbreaker. Miami Hurricanes Leatherman jacket. Sadly, it's a new one. And we found this Lucky Brand uh, men's jacket. And then we also found this Nike backpack. I think I'm just gonna take it so when I go to the beach, I can beat it up and I don't have to use like my nice Tumi backpacks. We have this sick FUBU jacket, just a multicolored. You have this New York Yankees jersey, Jeter. Vintage polo sport jacket, Miami Dolphins shirt, vintage Fruit of the Loom skeleton, double sided, just champion, then a vintage Salem, Massachusetts. Then we found this sick bootleg Louis Vuitton, like a waist bag, so it goes like that with like the back hit. I found this bootleg off-white backpack. And then we found a bunch of sneakers. We found these women dunks. We found these uh, A6 runners. We found these Air Maxes. Uh, we found these pair of gel lights. Another pair of Ultra Boost Air Max. Uh, another pair of Air Max. These are Solar Boost in like the Miami Dolphins colorway. And then these are like Nike boat shoes. So pretty cool. Well, randomly going to get my haircut, saw this garage sale sign. Look at these Tom Ford, like Esperella sa sandals, Rick Owens sneakers, and then a pair of Sorel boots. I paid five dollars each, so fifteen for all three. Sadly, they're like, oh, you, the bin was overflowing. They had Yeezys, and they were selling them five dollars a pair per shoes. So fuck, if I would have got here early. Bro, I would have got Yeezys for five dollars. Like, if he had Rick Owens, Tom Ford, uh, expensive stuff, I can't imagine the amount of good sneakers uh, this guy had. Uh, like I said, he had Yeezys, and I don't know if they sold those Yeezys for five dollars, but all the shoes were five dollars. And uh, hey, you know, at least I got three pairs. You know, I could have just got nothing, but I don't know if uh, whoever hit that up was a reseller or someone that just knew that those were Yeezys and were like, oh, let me get it for five dollars. But someone definitely hit gold. And the sad thing is, it's all my size. It's all uh, 11 to 12, um, which again is my size. So that would have been, man, I would have been happy if I scored a personal pair of Yeezys for $5. But now I'm just gonna kind of drive around this neighborhood. It seems like it's almost like a richer neighborhood. Like I said, I was getting my hair cut, but uh, let me see if I see any more garage sale signs. Again, I just saw that in the, in the middle of the street and I just happened to pass by. So uh, let me see if I can find some more garage sales. If not, I'm gonna get my hair cut and uh, yeah, continue my good Saturday. These APL running sneakers. We have these women's brand new Minnetonka, little like uh, hippie shoes. We have these Ferragamo dress shoes, the black colorway. Then we basically have these brand new white vans. They look like they're a size 13 or 14 though. They're freaking huge. They're size 13, but they're brand new. A couple women's pieces. We found this brand new LF jacket. Retail was $248. Has nice embroidery on it. Then we did find this LF, not brand new, but women's little tank top vest or whatever. Not vest, but you know what I'm talking about. Started off with t-shirts. We found this Miami Heat. Nice little Miami Heat logo. 
this the personal collection is like the tank top because it's super hot in Miami this super sick vintage cat shirts double-sided found two women Harley Davidson shirts little v-necks oh that one has a little mark up there it seems like might put this one back we have this one also might put these back I found this vintage Lee Sport Miami Dolphins hoodie. I found this brand new with the tags Walt Disney uh, Rolling Stones. Or, uh, sorry, not Rolling Stones, Aerosmith. I found this on the woman's rack vintage logo athletic Atlanta 1996 Olympics USA. And then the two finds of today, first time finding a liquid blue Grateful Dead long sleeve, dated 2003. And then we also found a women's Gucci shirt. Gucci logo right there, Gucci, and then it has the embroidery there. I believe there is inside tags as well. It's just dirty, but authentic Gucci shirt. We got a few t-shirts. I swear we find one of these like almost every other day. We have the Minus 2003. I'm probably gonna keep this for myself. We have the Valentino Aroma, just a plain black tee. Got Jesus shirt. Vintage Stressed. And then a 2002 SpongeBob shirt. We also found a pair of Kobe's at the front they're holding. Kobe's. New. So I kind of just grabbed a bunch of stuff. We have these uh, Levi's 501 3630 in all white. We found this custom Nike 305 jersey. It says honey on the back, but I don't know. I'm still going to grab it. It's only a dollar. We found this is the find of the day. Brand new with the tags. Born and raised MLB LA Dodgers collab. And I saw it. Yeah, here's the tag. Born and raised. $180 and we're getting it for $2. I wish they had a bunch of them, but this was the only one. Super sick though. Second time finding Born and Raised. Uh, we found this Nike hoodie, which I'm probably gonna put back because it's kind of faded. We found this Fred Perry, like Gucci, almost colored polo shirt. Again, I might put that back. I just have so much stuff, I gotta be picky. Uh, what is this? I kind of just grabbed it because it was an all over print. It says fresh vibes. Put that back. We found this 1996 USA. We'll get that. We found this rocket power. It is obviously a new age, but for a dollar I might pick it up. We found this Patagonia, nice little fleece. And then we did find a pair of vintage Tommy Hilfiger. Oh, never mind, they're bootleg. This isn't real. So we'll leave these. So I guess we'll just take this pile. 